Hi everyone, today I want to talk with you about chatbots and insurance companies. Um, I think chatbots can really help when it comes to customer experience. And uh, for insurance companies, it can be really useful. Because when I talk to people about insurance, uh, a lot of people have the feeling that you have to pay every month for your insurance. But when you really need help from the insurance company, it's really hard to get the information you want and to get it fast. And um, yeah, I think with chatbots, you can make some improvements there. And to show you that, I have a scenario. And uh, what I first want to do is I want to show you the scenario. And then the second part of this video, I want to show you the a real life demo of a chatbot I created. So first, have, let's have a look at the scenario. Well, uh, the scenario which I would like to discuss is, is the reporting of, of some damage. And yeah, normally you need to, to reach out with the phone to your insurance company or by email. And I think a chatbot can improve that scenario. So what, what scenario is, first of all, you have to tell the chatbot, of course, that something's broken. And then the second thing that will happen is that the chatbot will ask you to send an image of the broken object. Well, that's easy to do for you. So you can create an image and send it to the chatbot. And then what will happen is that the chatbot will look at the image and he will find the object uh, that's broken. Uh, so that's the first step. And the second step is that the, the object that's found, um, the chatbot will have a look what the value is of that object. So you will know that um, what the compensation will be for you. So that's the last step, the chatbot. If that steps are taken, the chatbot can tell you, well, this is your compensation or this, this, these are the next steps that uh, must be accomplished. Um, so what you see in this scenario is that the chatbot can really fast help the customer when they really need help. So you don't have to wait for, for a phone call or, for, or an email, or you don't have to wait for the opening hours uh, of your insurance company. The chatbot can directly help you. And that's what customers want if they need support. So that's the customer facing. And next have a look at the, um, the back end or the behind the scenes of the chatbot. Um, because I created this chatbot in the Microsoft Bot Framework. It's a really easy platform to, to create chatbots. And what we saw in the scenario is that the chatbot um, needs the image to find the object on that image. And uh, to find objects on an image, I use the Vision API from Microsoft as well. And that's, that's, that's really easy to use because you can send an image to that API and the response will be a list of tags uh, with objects that are found on that image. And the last step is that the value must be um, found of that object. And for that, I created a, a, a dummy database in, in Azure Cosmos DB, uh, previously known as Document DB. So I think with this scenario, you can reach uh, epic customer experience. And in my previous blog, I, I also um, told you something about this epic customer experience. So uh, if you didn't read that, please do that. Um, next, let, let's, let's have a look at the, at the real life demo. So what you see right here is this is the, the uh, bot framework emulator. Uh, I created the bot in Visual Studio and uh, what you can do in this um, emulator is you can test your bots. Um, so the bot is running locally right now and I'm testing it in the emulator. Um, first step is that the bot will ask me what kind of function I want to use. Well, we want to report the damage, so that's what I will click on. Next step is that the bot will ask me to send an image of the uh, broken object. So that's what I will do. I will click on this image of a bicycle and send it to the chatbot. And uh, what happened now is that the chatbot is sending this image to the uh, Vision API and some uh, tags will come back um, because there's an image on the, uh, a bicycle on the image of course, but there are also stones and a sidewalk. So the bot will ask me what kind of, Im what kind of object do you really mean? Well, it's the bicycle. Then the next step is that the bot will reach out to the Cosmos database and will find the price and the value of that bicycle. Uh, well, it's 460 euros. And the chatbot will ask the customer, well, is this information correct or not? 
uh, so you can approve this information. And then the last step is that the chatbot will tell you that the damage is reported and that the compensation is on its way. So this is a really easy scenario where you can, um, as, a, as a customer, you get your, the help you want directly on the moment that you need it. So that's, that's, that's really uh, an improvement of uh, customer experience. But on the other hand, for the insurance company, uh, there are a lot of activities that this chatbot is doing automatically where you normally need some people for that work. So that's, that's really um, yeah, cost saving for insurance companies. So that's the scenario of damage reporting uh, via a chatbot. And I want to thank you for watching. I will make my code available on GitHub. And um, in my next blogs, I want to uh, deep dive into the technology and show you how you can work with the Microsoft Bot Framework and also with the cognitive services I use in the chatbot.